hi guys so today let's talk about singleton design pattern singleton design pattern how can we implement using classical c++ that is using pointer and which is completely a not thread safe you need to take care of the thread safety and also we can see how can we uh, use a modern c++ way that is using a reference itself and it is completely thread safe so let's have a look into that so let's start so here i'll create a, a small program singleton program so let's say my class is singleton and in order to make the class singleton what we have to do is you need to make a constructor private constructor and destructor as a private so let me do this one a singleton so let me print, print some message here so let's say it's created backslash in. and also let me create a destructor singleton std is out and destroyed <clears throat> so now since we have uh, make this one as a private constructor and destructor private somehow we need to create an instance right so how can we do that one so it is very simple so let me create a public function so let's call uh, this one as a static and singleton i am want to return a pointer to this instance so we'll create create instance and uh, inside this one we have to create something called new singleton so this one will call this constructor so since this is a uh, our uh, own uh, member function so this one can call a constructor of this one so i want to return this pointer so before that one what i have to do is inside the private i need to create an instance i need to create a variable static singleton m underscore p instance so since i made this one as a static i need to declare outside the class itself singleton singleton m underscore p instance is equal to let me initialize with a null pointer so here what we can do is if m underscore p instance is equal to null pointer so then only create an instance and save this instance into p instance so then return return m underscore p instance so here what is happening so whenever first time uh, uh, create instance is getting called so it is null pointer and it has created an instance whenever second time instance is getting created so at that time it is already a it is not a null pointer so it will simply return the old uh, variable itself so similarly let me create one more thing called static so let it be void instead of create let me call this one as destroy and it is very simple m underscore p instance if it is a null pointer instead of that one we have to do instead of null pointer then we need to delete this one delete this instance once after we de deleted this instance so let me make this one as null pointer and equip this one to null pointer so now all these things are ready so let me create my client int main int main so let me create an instance so singleton so since i cannot do this one uh, so what what i mean is like i cannot call this one new singleton because since like we made it as private here you can see it is giving error so it is declared it is inaccessible since it is made it as private so the only way i can create instances like this create an instance create an instance so this one will return a pointer so either i can save this one using some ptr so i can make like this and let me and if i want to destroy i can do singleton destroy singleton destroy and let me do a return of zero a return zero and let me create compile this one so g plus plus singleton so it is compiled fine so once we executed this one here you can see it is created and destroyed so you can execute n number of times and you'll get a proper result only one instance is getting created so in order to confirm whether one instance is getting created so as of now like we'll forget about this pointer since we are not at all using this one so let me copy and paste this one three times so even this one as well now let me try to execute compile and execute so is it saved yeah so here you can see only one time uh, create is done created and destroyed created and destroyed even though n number of time the instance is getting created only one instance is present and let me try to destroy it even after destroy 
so let me compile and see so here you can see the program is behaving as expected because the last time whenever we call this destroyed since it is already a null pointer so it is not going into this one and it is not uh, giving a segmentation fault or anything so as far as uh, it is good so only things the problem occurs whenever this kind of uh, interface is exposed in a multi-threaded environment so let's see how it happens so let me create a thread so in order to save a number of instances let's create some vector and let me go here so let me create a vector of threads std thread so let's call it as threads and also let's create a 100 thread i is less than let's keep it simple let's make it 10 threads and here i'll create a thread and inside this thread i'll give a lambda expression so let me make this one and here i'll call singleton create instance and also let me do before this one let's only create an instance let's see what happened and i need to save this one right so in order to save this one threads dot impass back impass back and let me copy it into this one so now since we have used thread we need to wait for that one so let me create auto t threads and if t is joinable if t is joinable then only make this one as join so so far so good so let me try to recompile this one so here you can see i created a, a list of threads so and i'm keep on saving all the threads into this threads this variable then i am joining this one and in this thread i am creating a number of instances let's see what happened so let me compile this one and execute can you create uh, can you see here uh, first time itself <laughs> the instance is getting created twice so now we, in this time it has created the instance three times so let me try to execute again so sometimes uh, created thrice and sometimes only once so it is all completely undefined behavior because two threads are going uh, into this one going into this create instance functions and it is like one thread is still checking for this null pointer and another thread also came and checking for this null pointer so both the threads are getting an instances so in order to avoid this one what we have to do is we need to do something called we need to guard this one using a mutex so since it is a static variable so let me create one more uh, static mutex thing std std mutex std mutex and let's call this one as mtx and since it is a static variable as you know what we have to do is singleton m underscore mtx m underscore mtx and this is mutex so just i'm declaring outside my class otherwise it won't be visible and what here we have to do is as soon as someone enters into this one what we have to do is we need to call this lock guard and for this generic i need to give mutex and let me lock m underscore mtx now this create instance is completely locked and uh, no two instances can no two threads can enter at the same enter at the same time or simultaneously so let me try to compile and check now if you execute n number of times so here only one instance is getting created so let me increase this number of iteration into 100 so let me recompile and check can you see here only one instance is creating getting created for this 100 threads and let me try to destroy let's see how it works destroy so let me compile and run can you see here so the destroy is calling twice so the created is called once but the destroy the two threads are entering to the destroy at the same time so in order to avoid this one and it is same thing so just you can copy this one and paste it here so now both destroy and instance are completely a th completely a thread safe and it is completely locked with the same variable here this is what we need to do it is the same variable this is what we need to observe so let me try to compile and see and since like create is called here and destroyed so here every time destroyed create is called destroy is called create is called destroy is called but nowhere we did not even get the segmentation fault so 
it is like every time a new instance is getting created and it is being destroyed and if i execute again it is coming created destroyed so here you can see every time a new instance is getting created and it is destroyed so this is what the singleton means so instead of before like even destroyed no thread no create is called so that means only one instance of this object is present throughout this entire threads number of threads so first thread has got create and it is destroyed and second thread created and it is destroyed and if you see uh, this approach of using the pointer so and it is very difficult right so here the performance has dropped since we are uh, waiting for this one to lock and uh, here this this lock this mutex has been locked and here some waiting is there so and the performance drastically came down and the other thing is like uh, since this is a pointer handling pointer is always a tedious job right so to get rid of all these things so the other way of implementing is using modern c++ so let's see how it works so let me create one more uh, thing called c++ singleton new dot cpp now let's see how can we create a singleton using modern c++ so i your stream i'll create a class called uh, singleton and here also it is same thing like i need to create a private private uh, constructor and a destructor so let me copy from this old uh, file so here you can see uh, create and destroy is being called from constructor and destructor and the new way of uh, creating singleton is let me create a public function so that is a static function and instead of returning a pointer so let me return a reference so here we can say create instance and inside this one what we have to do is static static and we need to create singleton instance and return this instance and what we are doing here is so we are creating a singleton variable uh, sorry singleton this instance variable and we name this one as a static and just we are returning the instance and we are returning a reference of this instance so since it is static so it will all the uh, reference will point to this instance itself so let me try to copy the same thing this in between from here including a thread let me copy here and paste and even i need a thread vector all this thing but i don't need a mutex so here vector everything is there so since here there is no destroy function and since it is there is no pointer here we don't need a destroy function and singleton create instance we have created so now let me try to compile this one g plus plus singleton new dot cpp a dot out can you see here and it is completely thread safe as well so since the we have created a variable with static static variable and in modern c++ all the static variable is completely thread safe and also one more advantage is like we are not even creating a we are not even written with a pointer and it is completely a reference and one more advantage is like we are not even creating a new we are not even calling a new so there is no object has been created on a stack or oh, sorry it's not on a heap so all these things has been created in a data segment since it is a static it has been created in a data segment so with this one so we can conclude that so in a modern c++ you can create a singleton using a static variable like this and which is nothing but a mere singleton design pattern and also one more things we need to uh, take care is in the private uh, section we need to uh, make all the copy constructor overload assignment operator move operators and all those things need to be private so this one i'll make it as a separate video so as of now so that is the difference between classical way of creating a singleton design pattern and this is modern way of creating a singleton design pattern and yeah that's it for now so hope you like this video if you like this video please share and subscribe